Hey y'all, welcome back to Just Making It With Fee, and I'm Fifi. If you're new or returning, welcome. On this channel, I just show you all what I do in my kitchen, because as I always tell you in every video, I post pictures on Facebook showing my friends and family and um, other people in my group what I prepare in my kitchen. And since people are always asking how I prepare something, this is the quickest way that I can show you because, as I'm going to say, I'm not going to take the time to write it down. At least not now. But um, maybe one day I will. Maybe one day I will if I get some time. But right now, this is the, just the quickest way for me. I work two jobs and I'm a full-time mom. So, yeah. Anyway, um, today I'm going to show you all a quick and simple dessert. Um, if you're new here, just on on this little channel that I have... Um, I try to keep my meals as cheap as possible, at least what I consider to be cheap for me and my household. Every household is different. I try to keep my meals at $15 or less right now um, during this time of inflation. Um, I'm going to fix a dessert right now, and this dessert is going to be less than $5, at least for my area. You know, everybody's area is different, so just keep that in mind. But I'm just going to show y'all a quick and easy no bake dessert that I'm gonna fix for my family and it could feed eight people if everybody get one helping. And I um with my meals that I do prepare, I try to feed between four and six people as well. So if you look at any of my other videos, um as far as you know, meals, I try to feed four to six people. But this dessert will feed eight people if everybody get, you know, one helping. Anyway, I'm gonna fix a um Mm, no, I don't be having recipes, y'all, so I'll be making up names as I go. I guess it's just going to be a a cream pie. We're just going to call it a cream pie, y'all. But um, y'all going to see how I fix this particular cream pie. Um, it's going to have coconut in it and some vanilla pudding. and It's just real simple. But anyway, I'm going to get on with what I'm going to do. And it's not going to take me long. Alright. Can y'all see this? Hopefully, y'all can see this. Yep, y'all can see this. Okay, for my ingredients, I have some Cool Whip. I got this Cool Whip from the Dollar Tree, and I paid a dollar for it at the time. I've had this in my freezer, but um, now if you go to the Dollar Tree, it's going to be a dollar twenty-five cent. If you looked at um, my other video, I told you all that I had got some coconut. From, I think it was UGO, yeah, United Grocery, and I paid 79 cents, I think, for it. But this was the coconut. And then this is the graham cracker crust that I had purchased from Aldi for a dollar and twenty-five cent. They sell these at uh, Dollar Tree as well. This is some vanilla pudding, even though it says food line on it. I got it from my local UGO. And I paid, I remember they were three for a dollar. That's why I love my local G uh, UGO. They sell honey stuff from everywhere and then i use stable shelf milk so this is what i got because i don't really use milk a lot and buying gallons of milk and half a gallon of stuff it'll just go bad over here so i buy stable shelf milk but i actually got this as a donation so i didn't even have to pay for the milk ain't god good but you can always get stable shelf milk for a dollar okay to start i'm gonna mix up my um my instant pudding and this is a 3.4 ounce box. I put my, um, what you call this, my little bowl and my little wisp in the freezer. I try to keep everything cold. And I forgot to put my um, measuring cup in the freezer. So hopefully it won't mess it up too bad. But I try to have everything cold so it can sit faster and quicker but that's all I gotta do y'all is to whisk this up and then I'm gonna sit this in my freezer some more so it can get a little bit um pork Okay. I'm going to stick this back in the freezer too. 
the colder the better. Well, I just stick it in the fridge. The colder the better. That was it for that, y'all. That was quick and simple. The longer that um pudding can set, the better. But in the meantime, while I'm um hmm, where my little shears go? That's strange. No, there's always something, as I like to say. I don't see my shears. Oh, they're right here. Okay. Um, in the meantime, I'm finna toast up these coconut flakes. And I'm not gonna use any oil, any butter, anything like that. I'm just gonna toast them up in a dry pan. These are the ones that I'm gonna sprinkle on top. You don't have to do this, but this is just an extra step that I take. see all right and then I'm gonna save some because oh I forgot to mix some in there with that pudding y'all so I already set it let me put some in here real quick while this about to toast up I'm gonna add some of these coconut flakes in there with this you can pretty much add oh it's already done set up you can pretty much add anything that you want to in here i started to add some heath bar um i'll show y'all in a minute i started to add some heath bar um little chunks whatever you call them but tell us the taste for coconut let me come over here to my pantry I don't use coconut. I'll put some of this in there. I get this from my local discount, uh, UGO as well, whenever they have them. Y'all, this is so good. Oh, my goodness. This is so freaking good when I add it in there, but I'm not going to do it today because I'm planning on using these for some cookies. And this is the last one that I have, so I'm going to save these for some cookies. That's the only reason why I'm not putting it in there today. But... Anyway, I'm just going to toast these up. I should have had this pan hot. Y'all know I'm notorious for not having anything hot. Can y'all see? Yeah, y'all can see. Okay. And it's not going to take long for these to toast up at all. Like I said, you really don't have to do this step if you don't want to. It's just something that I do. So, while I'm waiting on it to toast up, I'm going to go ahead and fluff up my, um, I'm just going to go ahead and fluff up my, um, all this stuff, my Cool Whip. Y'all, this is really it. You just take your pudding and you stick it on the inside of your, um, pie crust. Then you top it with your Cool Whip. And then you just sprinkle a little bit of the um, coconut on top of it. You got an inexpensive dessert that will feed eight people. While I'm waiting on this, because I'm smelling it, it's becoming fragrant. I'm going to go over the prices. Um, like if you go to a regular store, because you might not have a... A UGO in your area and might not can't get this. So anyway, um, I know I normally do Walmart, but I'm gonna do all this since I did pretty much my shopping at Aldi this week. Tell y'all how much it costs at Aldi. Just letting y'all see. Gotta keep an eye on this, y'all, because if not, it will burn. I'm gonna go on and turn it off. So I just want it browned a little bit. Just toast it up. I ain't trying to burn nothing. Anyway, if you got pudding from um, Aldi, it would be 75 cents for a box. The pie crust is $1.25. If you got some stable shelf milk from Aldi, 
it will be a dollar and 89 cent and if you got the Aldi's brand of their um cool whip it will be a dollar and five cent so if you went to Aldi to try to recreate this dessert it will be four dollars and 94 cent plus tax Walmart might be a little bit more give or take see y'all it's not even on all right golden brown enough gonna stick this on a little salsa it's the first thing that I grab I'm just gonna stick it on there and then that's it for that so I say you don't have to do this step if you don't want to it's just something that I like to do I find it uh gives it a little bit more flavor I'm glad I said flavor y'all anybody that has watched this channel Know me enough to know that I like me some flavor. I knew I was forgetting something. I knew I was forgetting something. I like to put a little bit of vanilla extract inside of my um, pudding. Just to bring out the vanilla flavor. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put a dash in here. You don't have to do this. You don't have this. It's going to still taste good. But this is just something I like to do. Just give it a little bit more extra flavor. Alright. I want y'all to see how it's uh, set up. Just being in the freezer that long. <sighs> it's the keys to have your stuff cold. It's just to have it cold. I put it back in the freezer just so it can sit up just a little bit more while I'm trying to get this open. Like I said, the longer it sits, the better. If I wasn't filming this for y'all... I would probably probably let that sit in the freezer for like 30 minutes just so it can get um you know good and firm. But hey, this TV laying. So anyway. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pour my mixture in here. Get as much of it out as I can. I don't want to waste anything. Get every drop. Set up good enough. But I still, like I said, if I wasn't doing this, I would have let it sit in here for like 30 minutes. So it could be just a little bit firmer. Okay. But it don't have to be. If you don't have time to let it sit for 30 minutes, this is what this is for to show you how it'll do. My hands are clean, y'all. So I'm just going to wipe this off on the spoon. Wash my hands real quick. Ooh, that tastes so good. Oh. Ooh, that tastes so good. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, yes. I am so thankful that I remembered to put that um, vanilla flavoring in there. But like I said, if you don't have it, it still will be good. Okay. And as y'all seen, I fluffed up my um, Cool Whip. So, it's just going to be the next thing I do. This is what takes the longest for me. Just putting this Cool Whip on here and getting it spread it out evenly. <laughs> I like for mine to sit up kind of high, but you know, you do you do yours the way you want to do in your kitchen if you recreate this. I'm just going to try and spread it out as evenly as possible. Like. 
You don't have to use the entire container. If you don't want to, you know, like I say, you just you do whatever's best for you and your family in your kitchen. Because truth be told, this could be used for something else, but I just prefer for mine to sit up a little higher. It's just my preference if I have it to do. If I don't, then I just deal with what I have. Okay. But I use the entire container. I'm just trying to spread this out as evenly as possible. As y'all seen, I just washed my hands, so I'm going to get ready and get all that off. Spread that on there. Wash my hands again. Wash my hands again for the last time. Okay. Hey, Pumpkin. Hey, pretty girl. Hey, Mama Baby. Y'all see my pretty girl. This is my pretty girl, Kaylee. Okay, and then I'm just gonna top it with my toasted coconut. Y'all, when I say this is so freaking good, you can put as little or as much as you want on there. Like I said, you don't have to um, toast it if you don't want to. I really toast it because one, it brings out the flavor. And then two, it adds a little bit of color to it. Okay. I'm just gonna, gonna refix these things. Ooh. Then what I do, y'all. Um, I sit this back in the freezer so it can sit. Some more coconut on it. I like for mine to be covered. So I'm just going to stick it back in the freezer so it can sit. And then when you cut it, it's easier to slice. You know where it won't be missing and stuff because it'll be firm but if you cut it like this now you know it's it's not gonna be you know super firm so it will be messy but I find you know if you just take the time to stick it in the freezer it'll be firm and there y'all here it is y'all my little coconut cream pie for under five dollars, and it'll feed eight people once you slice it. Can't beat that with a stick. If you made it this long, thank you. And if you decide to fix this, um, let me know if you like it, or if you tweaked it a different way, or if you see something that I can do different to it. Um, I'm always open to new suggestions, but um. I hope this dessert idea will bless you because we do do dessert over here. I haven't, um, this is my very first video showing y'all that I do dessert, but we do dessert over here. I just find that it's cheaper for us to make it than to often buy things pre-made, just depending, but most of the time it's cheaper for me to make it. So, hope this will bless you, and if it won't bless you and you know somebody else it'll bless, please pass the video along to them so that we can all try to, you know, make it. Make our money stretch during this time of inflation and eat good while we're doing it. All right, y'all. Till next time. Love y'all. Talk to you all later. Bye.